What's up, guys? So I know it's been a while since I've posted. Um, in fact, I've done that deliberately because uh, I've just been wanting to, you know, take some time off from uh, posting and social media, and um, just been working on other projects. So one thing that I want to show you guys and have been working on and really want to stress to everyone nowadays uh, more than ever because of, you know, obviously our economy and how money is going and, you know, opportunities. Granted, there's always opportunities, but I want to show you guys this. So um, this is the importance of having good credit, having uh, available funds. Um, and also uh, knowing what contracts you're getting into. And so just want to give you guys a brief example as to the type of stuff that um, you can get into not knowing, um, you know, the, the finance industry or uh, car dealerships, if you will, for that matter. But real quick, check this out. So if you take a loan, right, that's 27. And if you can't understand it, I'm going uh, to make sure that I... I uh, say it loud and clear. So you got a $27,000 loan, right? That's a car loan, and you have it at 13%. This is extremely high, uh, but once again, you know, I want to do this for individuals that maybe don't have good credit um, and are potentially working on it, right? If you're potentially working on your credit, that's great, but just know these are the type of things that you have to consider and really look at when you're getting into a car loan, right? So let's just say you want to get into a $27,000 car loan. Uh, you're you're going to get, you know, let's say your APR is 13%, 13.7%. And then you're at 75 months because you want to stretch it out as much as possible because, you know, you want to get this uh, monthly payment down as much as possible. That's what you're thinking at least, right? So let's say you make a down payment of, I don't know, 1000 or $2,000, whatever. That's not that's not really the case in this sense, but, or that's not uh, really a, a determining f a factor to any of this. It doesn't, doesn't change really much, right? So you put your thousand, that's just to show that you got skin in the game, right? So your monthly payment will be five, $535. That's a lot of money. Uh, and then it also depends on the kind of car that you have, but I still think that's a lot of money anyways, uh, for, you know, um, if you're not driving a Rolls Royce or anything, if you're just driving a regular car, that's a lot of money, right? So what you want to do is you want to take all those numbers and, 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 and into consideration, right? So particularly, you want to get this monthly payment and you want to times it to 6,000. I mean, you want to times it by 12, right? We're going to look at this number later on. This is a very important number, but I want you to do this. I want you to get this number, right? This is the, this is the monthly payments. And this is times 12. What is 12? That is the number of months, right? So remember, we started off with a $27,000 loan, right? So your monthly payments will be $6,427, right? That, I mean, I'm sorry, that's an annual, that's an annual payment, right? That, that's what you're paying annually towards uh, the loan, right? And so if you're looking at 13%, which is right here, I'm sorry, if <laughs> guys, once again, I'm sorry if this is uh, kind of all over the place, but, um, and you probably can't understand or read it too well, but you're at 13% of the interest rate of 27,000, right? So if you take 13%, um, that is 3,700, right? And some change. Um, so now you have to look at what the repayment of the principal is. So if, if 13%, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, if it's three thousand, is is um, is what the interest is for twenty seven, right? For twenty seven thousand, more than likely, you think you've paid off two thousand seven hundred and twenty seven and twenty six dollars of the payment of your car payment. That all depends on how much um, principal you've actually paid. Right. So this number can be way lower or it can be just at about. Right. But all also depends on what um, what the, the finance company, the bank um, allows you to do. There's some banks that don't allow you to pay off the principal um, entirely. Right. Every single month. They don't. They just don't allow that. So let's say if that were the case, you would be at twenty four thousand 
right, at the end of the year. However, however, let's go back to, let's go back to this number right here. Let's go back to this $6,000 number, right? If you take this number and you take this uh, 75 months, right? 75 months is six, uh, six years, 6.25 years. So what, give or take, um, let's just say six years, right? 6.25, six, six years in a couple months, right? Or two months, three months. So if you take this number and you times it by 75, right, right here, you're actually paying $40,000 versus the 27 that you think you're paying. Guys, this is the importance. This is the importance of having good credit, uh, good negotiation, reading the numbers, reading, uh, understanding, uh, going to a, a car dealership and then them just throwing a bunch of numbers at you. Um, you know, I'm helping out a friend and so kind of looking at the numbers. But this is the importance of doing that type of stuff. And, you know, this is, there's calculators out there really that already show you how to do this or all you have to do is just plug in the numbers. So when you go to a dealership, let's say you don't want to do any of this stuff that I just showed you. Fine. Go online. Have, whatever numbers they tell you, whatever down payment you put, you know, p plug those into the calculator and, and see if that works out for you, you know, if at the end, you know, of the four, five, six months, or I'm sorry, six years that you're paying, you know, is that number uh, equivalent to this loan payment that you have, that you borrowed, right? Because if you end up just paying majority of the interest and you're not able to pay the, the principal, then you're going to end up paying this. Why? Well, first of all, uh, each month, you're not really paying the total amount of your uh, your payment, right? You're not. You're probably more than likely not paying five hundred and thirty-five dollars towards the principal. Uh, you're probably paying half, maybe even in some some instances less than that. So you really have to figure out what what um, your interest is um, and what you're paying towards your your monthly in terms of the principal. And, and the interest. So, guys, I hope that helped you out. Um, you know, if you have any questions, I, I, I'd love to help you out. Um, I'm doing more so of this because, uh, you know, I'm finishing up my MBA. Um, I'm learning about different industries and, and um, formulas and just trying to help out in any way that I can. You know, anything that I figure out, anything that I find out. And granted, it's all already on, on, online. So, um, and, you know, if you like more videos like this, um, I'd be willing to share um, more information that I have on, you know, my studies, my MBA, uh, because I think um, it does help a lot of people. You know, I, I, I do watch a lot of um, entrepreneurs and, you know, big time guys that, you know, they'll tell you, you know, an MBA is not it's not the end all be all. And, and as I'm going through it and finishing up now, you know, I, I feel that to be. I feel that to be true, uh, very valid. You know, Dan, Dan Pena says, um, you know, they'll teach you um, how to, they'll teach you how to run a business, but they won't teach you how to start one. They won't teach you how to how to purchase one, right? So very, very important. That's true because in my MBA, I've never learned any anything about buying a business or selling a business. It's all about how to run a business. So good information, guys. All right. Uh, take care.